Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Yeah, as we were heading into Saturday, the market did uh, show us a bit of a sell-off there. Quite rapid, actually. Well, I am happy if these corrections take place fast and I don't want to wait another couple of months until this current wave 4 correction is over. So we're likely in a larger wave 4 again after um, yellow waves 4 and 5 completed here in... Um, January, yeah, 11th of January, that top a few days ago. So that was the top of yellow wave 5 of circle wave 3, or alternatively a larger A wave. So these are the larger degree ones, circle wave 3 or that larger A wave. And the idea is now that the price is showing a pullback yeah, in an AVC uh, structure. That's what I have to assume. I mean, Technically, it's still possible that we form within yellow wave 5 another extension, but it has become less likely and that idea would be invalidated below 41,000 anyway. And at the moment, uh, it seems to go that way, but it's not. it would be an alternative. You know? But something that really would be um, less likely at this stage. What I can see is that um, yeah, we probably finished that third wave there. Remember, this was one of our key Fibonacci levels. It was only our minimum target, but it reached the target perfectly. Um, then I warned about the sharp pullback and that sharp pullback came within the hour. And now, yeah, where are we? Okay, so it is now with this drop very likely, but I made you aware yesterday anyway. There should be anything new. The market didn't really do much overnight. So we are likely now in this A wave of a larger wave 4 correction, circle wave 4. And in this region, I start to watch for a B wave rally now, or at least a corrective, yeah, a corrective rally basically. The market already reached the support area provided in yellow, the trading area for positioning oneself for circle wave 5. In this scenario here, we should still see a B wave and a C wave, and it might be that wave A is already over. Maybe wave A will form one more low. That's the very, very short-term perspective. We can, we can zoom in in a minute. But overall, it's, as always, important to see three waves in this correction. Similar to what we saw here. A wave, B wave, C wave. Now, we need to be aware, again, you know, um, a lot of people got frustrated here and I always warn people when we head into a wave 4 correction that it's going to be frustrating and it can take a long time. And we will see a lot of fake outs. And also I usually start with tracking a normal ABC structure. That ABC will likely change a few times. We might end up with a WXY pattern. It might turn into a triangle, but it's too early for that. Okay, There are more than 10 corrective patterns that can develop here. And it's impossible to say which one it will be, but I always start with the most probable one, which is an ABC structure. Just note that B waves can overshoot and so on. And it could be that we will spend quite a bit of time below the 50K area. So this is the $50,000 resistance level up there. It's a Fibonacci level as well. So it's psychological as well. And um, also here in this region anyway, the, the sort of the 48, 49K region has historically been an important um, resistance area before here, back in 22, for example, this swing high, yeah, which has again provided some resistance. So this is going to be quite important anyway as a resistance area. So m one of the possible scenarios is that the price will spend quite a bit of time in a very messy way in this range before finishing off this correction in a way for and then we could move higher in wave five and would then climb higher. This is currently the primary scenario. I would have to look for alternative scenarios, different, se well, I found one anyway, you know that, but we would have to focus on other scenarios below 35K. If there is a sustained break below 35K, that would be a much deeper pullback that we can then look, um, look at towards the 30K, maybe even 20K region in a different scenario, which would be a B wave larger P wave pullback, um, which I cannot rule out at this stage. But for now, let's see if support holds here. I will get much more concerned, let's say, above the B wave pullback so that this could play out. Once we see a break below 
37,900 in this A wave. To be honest, I would really like to see from this region, doesn't need to be now, but somewhere from this region, without breaking 37,900, I would like to see a start of the B wave. Really only once we have a B wave, we have a marker on the chart that allows us to calculate a target for wave C. Um, ideally, the A wave finishes here, or maybe with one more low, but should ideally not break below 37,899, it would be very deep for an A wave. At the moment, the A wave is in the region where you would normally expect a reaction. Also, on the four hour chart, when we look at the RSI, the chart is oversold on the four hour. So it's not the most significant time frame, but it's relevant. And I could imagine maybe the daily, the daily starts to spend some time now in the bearish range. So I think it has more room to go to the downside. And once it gets oversold, if it gets oversold on the daily, I mean, that's a pretty, pretty good signal. I will have a hard time to see it get to maybe oversold here. Well, it could do, <clears throat> but daily oversold is a buy signal typically on the crypto, in the crypto market, especially on Bitcoin. At the moment, it looks more as if the A wave might form another low. And that's okay because A waves can be five wave moves. One, two, three, four, five. So this could be, this could form one more low yeah, in wave A. At the same time, A waves can be three wave moves. So we can never really say, okay, it has to be five. Um, when can we say that the wave A is finished? So what I would like to see is minimally a break above 44K, you know, this last swing high. I mean, then I would say, okay, probably, probably wave A is finished, okay? So that's sort of the level I'd use. Um, it's not a very clear level, but it's, it's the last swing high. And once we get above that level, that would indicate that wave B has started to unfold and be aware that B waves can overshoot, we'll see. The more it's, the, more, the higher the B wave goes, the more bullishness still in the market. Um, but bear in mind that the A wave could form one more low. You know, it's, it's just what it is. And then uh, I think that will come become clear over the coming days. And that B wave at the moment, if the B wave is starting now, the standard resistance is between 45,100 and 47,300. And then from there, I would ideally want to see a reaction to the downside in wave C. That's my current update about Bitcoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. And if you're interested in daily updates about the S&P 500, as well as regular updates about stocks, check out our S&P 500 and stock service. You'll find the link in the description. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.